Hello folks, my name is Jim van Os. I'm a psychiatrist. I work here in the Netherlands at Maastricht University and I'm also the coordinator of a very large European project funded by the European Commission which is called EUGI. We are trying to find the environmental and the genetic causes of a mental disorder called schizophrenia. And schizophrenia is a psychotic disorder with onset in adolescence and young adulthood. It affects about 1% of the population and there is no cure. But what we do know in this project is that things like cannabis use, childhood trauma, growing up in big cities and belonging to a minority population in the country are important environmental risk factors for schizophrenia. But we have also found that these environmental risk factors interact with genetic risk factors so that they co-participate and reinforce each other. Here are two boats and each boat represents an individual. One of these individuals has an increased risk to develop a psychotic disorder. This means that he or she will have symptoms like hearing voices that other people cannot hear or feeling persecuted. This individual has a really large bottom and this represents an increased genetic risk to develop a psychotic disorder like for instance schizophrenia. This other individual has only a small bottom representing a low genetic risk. Both individuals are exposed to different environmental factors during their lives. For instance, it might happen that both of them experience some kind of trauma during their childhood. So this represents the load of the boat. And then maybe this individual is raised in a big city, which also represents a stressor and which is also loaded to the boat. And this individual maybe during their adolescence smokes cannabis, which also makes that the boat sinks more into the water. For this individual, it doesn't really matter because the genetic load, the bottom of the boat is only small. But for this individual, it does matter that it, um, that he or she experiences a lot of environmental factors because it has a, this boat has a large bottom and the risk to hit the rocks deep into, into the water is increased, representing also an increased risk to maybe in their late adolescence develop a psychotic disorder as for instance schizophrenia. <laughs> Hola, mi nombre es Celso Arango, soy psiquiatra, trabajo en el Hospital Gregorio Marañón, que es el centro desde el que coordinamos en España el proyecto EUGI. El trabajo que hacemos aquí para este proyecto es evaluar, por un lado, a los pacientes, personas que o bien tienen un primer episodio psicótico, o bien tienen una esquizofrenia ya de larga evolución, a sus hermanos sanos, que son personas que tienen el 50% igual carga genética y muchos factores ambientales similares y un grupo de controles sanos. Controles que son personas que no tienen la enfermedad y que además son del mismo sexo, de la misma edad y del mismo estatus socioeconómico que los pacientes. Entonces lo que hacemos aquí es les hacemos una entrevista, les evaluamos y les preguntamos por toda la serie de factores que nosotros sabemos que cuando interaccionan con los genes pueden aumentar el riesgo de esquizofrenia. Y además lo que les hacemos es una extracción de sangre para estudiar el ADN de, de tanto de los pacientes, de sus hermanos, como de los controles sanos. Obviously, this is very important because schizophrenia affects 1% of young people and it's a very uh, expensive disorder because people have uh, illnesses that sometimes require lifelong treatment. Um, so uh, the mechanisms of the disease are unknown and uh, there are some recent discoveries we made. For example, 
that cannabis use increases the risk for psychotic disorder. This is important because obviously many young people use cannabis. But then we also found that if there was also evidence of genetic risk, for example, having somebody in the family with psychotic disorder, that this even further increased the risk for cannabis use. So that the two, cannabis use and genetic risk, reinforce each other.